everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all doing well so today I'm going to be doing a video talking about my experience about buying the Hermes Birkin so before I start the video I just want to say that I am not working or affiliated with Hermes in any way shape or form other than the fact that I just buy things from them I'm a customer so I'm sharing my customer experience with you the other thing too is that I've come to the realization that in other countries um, how Hermes conducts their business when buying the Birkin is different so the situation in the US will be different I've heard from a lot of you guys that you first have to build a relationship with your sales associate and you have to buy a lot of things from them then on the other side of the spectrum people are saying that there is no wait list anymore but you know everyone has their different views and how it's done in other countries I cannot speak to that what I can speak on is how it's done here in Germany so the first Birkin I purchased was back in 2014 it was June 2014 and I purchased the uh, Hermes Birkin 35 centimeter blue jean togo leather bag and that video <laughs> got a lot of views <laughs> I am not sure why but thank you guys so much that video has gotten over 150,000 views and uh, was also featured in the Washington Post so I'm very very excited about that and that could have only happened because of you guys I'm going to start telling you about my experience now with my first Hermes Birkin bag I had to wait two years for my bag to arrive so that was my first experience back in 2014 so prior to ordering the bag and going on the wait list I had never purchased anything from Hermes before and I was very lucky I was with my friend and we went in and we got on the list we both did now the wish list is not always open they call it a wish list now when you get on the list to wait it comes in a envelope like this and I'm going to give you a close-up of that now I was fortunate <laughs> to get on the list um, for a third time and on the back of the list you can see all the lists of the boutiques here in Germany there are 13 Hermes boutiques across Germany now I also found out when I went in the first time the lady thought I was a tourist or something I'm not sure she said um, are you living in the city are you a German resident because they get a lot of customers from outside of Germany who will want to try and get onto the list to purchase the Birkin so they only uh, from my experience allow you to get on it if you are a resident from here now getting onto this wish list the second time was a lot shorter than my first time which I was kind of shocked about because I believe that the Hermes Birkin is something that is so beautiful and to me I'm not an instant gratification kind of girl I like to wait <laughs> and look forward to it and the plus side to waiting you have to see the good things in in life you know is that you can save up for the bag because I had saved up over those two years for my first Birkin and this time it came a lot quicker now I believe in good karma and if you do good for other people without expecting anything it comes back to you so how I came to be on the list the second time was that my friend gave me a gift certificate from Hermes and I did not even know that they have you know the gift certificate system going on and I was really shocked I was never expecting that from her it was just to say thank you and it really made me you know tear up and I said okay if you are giving me this gift certificate we are going to go together and look for something so I was thinking of getting um, two Twillies and a new Bastia either in the Rose Sakura or Rose Nakara I think those were the colors so 
we just merely went in on our way <laughs> and we spoke to a sales associate and he was absolutely wonderful and you know the first experience i had i would never you know approach the situation that way again where i just went in and say you know is the list open for the birkin i i wouldn't do that again i do i think it's kind of rookie <laughs> a rookie mistake but i got lucky but i feel this time i was actually buying something and i was in the conversation already with the sales associate and everything is going so well so i said to him um you know is there any bags available and he said what kind of bags and i said uh well you know <laughs> And then he was saying, and then he said, you need to be more specific as to what kind of bag you want. And then my friend just blurted it out and said, you know, she means the Birkin. <laughs> and he said, okay, wait a minute, I'm going to go and speak to the manager. So he came back with the formula for the, you know, to fill out when you um, order the Birkin. So I filled out the formula and my friend also got on the list as well and we were both excited because the list had been closed for so long and they were not taking any more orders so it was just so spontaneous that we went and you know was able to get on the wish list. They call it a, like I said, a Taschenwunsch and this is what it looks like and you can see that the seal goes all the way through and it's a very thick paper and like I said all the Hermes boutiques are listed on the back. Now there are 13 Hermes boutiques across Germany. I think I've shopped at about five of them. <laughs> so I won't be telling you which boutique it is that I you know specifically went to to pick up my bag. Now fast forward to this year I did a video recently where I was sharing, you know, a shopping trip and I went and to my friend's apartment and I was showing you guys, you know, some of her collection. Now on that day, I was at Louis Vuitton as you saw in the video and I was thinking, you know, my Birkin is going to take two years to come and I've been thinking about the Alma BB. So let me get the Alma BB and I was also thinking of getting the... Uh, Chanel maxi flap because you know the medium flap that I have I think it's way too small for me so I wanted to you know kind of upgrade the size and I got a call from my friend and she said you're not gonna believe this girl <laughs> I just got called to pick up my Birkin and I was like what that cannot be real because we just went last year and you know that the Birkin would take less than a year to come it's it was just unbelievable and she said whatever you're doing don't bother buy the Chanel bag don't buy the Louis Vuitton I'm a BB save your money because I think you're going to be next on the list because you know they're working through the list anyway I said I wasn't gonna buy it so all I did was just buy the wallet and the you know the six key holder from Louis Vuitton and then three weeks later I got a call but I was in a meeting at work so I missed the call and I looked at the phone and I was like what kind of number is this anyway so I dialed the number and it was the Hermes boutique but they had already closed and I was like oh man I missed the call anyway I decided to make it my duty the next day at 10 a.m. to call them up and be the first customer on the line. So I called them up and I said to them, uh, well, you know, you guys call me. Is there a reason that you call me? And the lady on the phone, she said, well, it could be one of two things. Either you sent in something for repair or you ordered something. I said, well, I did order something. And she said, well, uh, what did you order? I said it was a new bag. She said the person who is responsible for you know calling you and dealing with the bag is not in today 
So you're going to have to wait until he calls you tomorrow and <laughs> you're gonna have to wait until he either calls you tomorrow or you call back. I said there was no way I was gonna wait for him to call me, I was gonna call them back. So I called him on Thursday and I said, you know, hi, this is so-and-so and you call me but I missed your call and he said, oh yes, that's correct. I just wanted to tell you that the handbag that you order, your Hermes Birkin, is here in 35 centimeter gold hardware Togo leather. And I was like, yes, <laughs> wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And um, I said to him, you know, I'm not in that city at the moment. I'm away, you know, with work. So if you could um, allow me to pick up the bag on Tuesday, I would and hence the photos that you guys saw on Tuesday at the Hermes boutique that I had just picked up my brand new Birkin. There is some other information that I wanted to tell you. When I first ordered my first Birkin, the blue jean with um, Togo leather, they were doing it differently. Um, what they did at the time was to send me a notification that my Birkin was available and that I had 14 days to pick it up. Now this time I was surprised that they actually picked up the phone and called me. So I said, you know, to the guy at the store when I was picking up my Birkin, what if I had missed uh, the first call? He said, well, normally what we do is to try to call the customers three times. If we don't get in touch with the customer, then we send them a notification that they have 14 days in which to pick up the bag. And I was like, oh, thank God. So that was my Hermes Birkin experience. If you guys have any questions at all about the Birkin, um, I'll try to answer as much as I possibly can. I cannot give away every single um, minute detail because I am a customer and when I go there I want to enjoy that same um, superior service and I think for me when I purchase directly from Hermes the service is just amazing excellent I there's nothing that I don't love about their service when your bag is being presented to you the sales associate is wearing white gloves they also offer you something to drink like champagne and it is the non plus ultra now I hope this video was helpful and that it wasn't too long for you and you were able to get as much information as you possibly could um, as I said this is just one customers experience Experience about how I got my Birkin uh, here in Germany so I hope you enjoy the video guys and I'll talk to you again soon love you for watching bye